Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at the IO Setup dialog box in Pro Tools. The IO Setup dialog box is where you come to label, format, and map the various signal paths for your Pro Tools inputs, outputs, buses, etc. Uh, before we get started, let's talk about some definitions here. Uh, the first one is the path, and you're going to see this a lot in this course, so it's something to make sure that you understand. Um, a path is a logical grouping of inputs, outputs, or buses. Uh, that have a specific channel format and share a common name. Now you'll see when you first open this window, typically the default settings are here for the inputs, the outputs, and the buses. So we're going to take a look at how to uh, delete and add paths and to modify these in various ways to make them work for what you're trying to accomplish. You can see a lot of information here in this window. Uh, for example, the path name which I can see right there, whether the path is enabled or not, which this little checkbox is showing me, the format, which in this case is stereo, but could also be mono or potentially one of the surround formats. We can also see the interface that's currently enabled for Pro Tools, and then this channel grid shows you where that path is actually mapped to on your hardware. So when we're working with paths here in the I.O. setup, uh, there are a variety of things that we can do. Uh, we can add or delete paths. Uh, I'll show you if I take this built-in input and I were to delete that. I could go ahead and replace it with a new path. Uh, let's say we wanted one stereo input and uh, call that line in. And you can see it automatically comes up on here, line in, stereo format and then I would go ahead and map that to those three and four inputs. If I decided I wanted to rename these, um, I could go ahead and double click in there and just call that built-in mic. It's good to have relatively short names here if possible because you are going to have to look at these names in the uh, Pro Tools Mix window and sometimes there's not a lot of space. I can also activate or deactivate paths here by checking or unchecking this little checkbox here. So within this window, generally you're looking at these main paths, and the main path is, of course, that primary grouping of the inputs, outputs, inserts, buses, those kinds of things. Um, but we also have something called a subpath. If you look at that line in path that I just created, it's a main path, but I can add subpaths to it. So if I say new subpath, I could actually access just the left side of the line in, like that. And I could add another subpath, which would allow me to access just the right side of the line in. So I'd have the option of accessing the stereo pair or coming in and actually getting at just the left or just the right side. And that's something that you can use subpaths for. You'll notice that if you use the default button down here to create your paths, they'll automatically be populated with both main and sub paths for all of your inputs and outputs. Now something that changed in Pro Tools with Pro Tools 8.1 is that we actually now use output buses to get at our output paths. So if we go to the output tab, you'll see that the output path is here. It's called built-in output 1 and 2. And let's give that a name that's a little more clear. I like to call it something like monitor you know, something that makes it clear that that is the actual physical output path. But you can see that there's not a lot of customization I can do here. Now, if I go over to the bus tab, you'll see that there's actually an output bus that has automatically been created and mapped over to this monitor output. And I can see that it's called monitor as well. It's enabled, it's stereo. It's gonna address the left and right channels of that output path and if I need to make subpaths, I can do that in here. So this is something that changed in Pro Tools 8.1, and it can be a little bit confusing, but the good thing is that Pro Tools generally handles these settings automatically. Another thing to be aware of in IO setup is the audition path selector here in the output tab. And here you can say that you want your stereo audition path to be that monitor path that we already created. Okay, so then when you audition files in Digibase or in the clip list, that's where they're going to play. And sometimes you'll get an error when you go to audition those files and it'll say that an audition path has not been selected. So this is where you can come to fix that. The other thing you'll see in here is the default output bus. What this does is determine what the default assignment is when you make a new track inside of Pro Tools. So if it's a mono track, it's going to go to that monitor bus that we created. 
And if it's a stereo track, it's also going to go to that same monitor output bus. Now, once you've got everything configured correctly in here, you're going to want to make sure that you export the settings. So I could say export settings, and we could call this uh, my settings. And what that's going to do is it's going to take all of your IO setup settings, the inputs, outputs, buses, inserts, all of this stuff, and it's going to save them out to a settings file. Then if something gets messed up in here, or if you just decide you want to have a variety of different kinds of settings, you can go ahead and import them in. One thing that changed in Pro Tools 8.1 is that import settings is only going to import the settings for the tab that you're currently on. So whether that's input, output, bus, etc., you're only going to get those settings. Now you can override that by holding down either the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on Windows when you click this Import Settings button. So if I click Option, Import Settings, I could go to My Settings, and now that would go ahead and import the entire settings file. It's going to ask me if I want to delete the existing unused paths. Normally you would, so I'll say yes there. And then I will get all of the settings from that settings file. 